All right, so now we're gonna stick with some liter bottles and go to Spain with the Gold Pablo Garnacha. Um, this is the 2019, um, and it is a really great expression of a large format chillable red. Um, and I did not chill mine, so I'm a little sad about it, but it was actually a good test because I've had this wine many times um, and I normally chill it. And I would say that I love it chilled, um, but I was happy to find out in trying it not chilled today that I enjoyed it just as much um, at room temperature. And even you guys know, even at room temperature is not what I am supposed to do. Uh, even just 15 minutes in the fridge for regular reds is what I would do. Um, but it's still lovely and has most of the same notes um, at room temperature. But again, like if I were you and especially consuming it in the summer, which is the plan, um, definitely throw it in the fridge for like 30-ish minutes, maybe more. So this wine I like to say is like a funny, sneaky, uh, sneaky wine to get your um, parents or people that normally like heftier styles not specifically into glue glue because they may just it may just not have the body for them, but it should have the color. They probably are familiar with Grenache, um, and it's not like a crazy funky wine. It's just a yummy, um, like simple, natural wine, but that doesn't have any of like the crazy you know like effervescence or all these other things that might be a little bit too foreign to them. So let's jump into it. So because it, mine's not as chilled, what's interesting is the first quality that I'm getting on it is a bit of like, like medicinal cherry versus like uh, when I'm having it more chilled, I think that it smells more like a, like a brighter style of cherry, uh, but that's the first thing I get. And then it does have like secondary characteristics. Like, I don't know if it's like licorice. I think it's licorice maybe like mint too. There's certainly like a herbal quality to it um, beyond the fruit, but the fruit's definitely very present. Um, cranberry is a good one too. That's definitely in there. So let's try it. Yummy, <laughs> quick and easy. Um, so maybe this is another reason why it's good for people that um, are, you know, a little bit skeptical of natural wines, it's consistent. The way that it smells is exactly how it tastes. A lot of times, like when I'll do tasting notes, natural wine or not, um, the nose is a totally different expression of what you're going to see on the palate. Um, but it's really consistent with this one. So again, like it has like that medicinal cherry quality, cranberries. Um, I feel like it's been a bit since I've had it chilled. It's been a couple weeks, but I'm pretty sure like I'm not, I would not call this wine crunchy right now, but I think if I had it chilled, I would probably call it crunchy. Um, like crisp and bright and light. Things are just feeling a little bit heavier because it is at room temperature. So maybe that's also the secret. If you are, <laughs> if you're, if you're at a barbecue with your family and you want to bring some natural wine, but you also want to let other people have the option to drink it, um, just maybe don't completely chill it or chill it at all. And then you might get some more, some more partakers uh, from your family. Um, so yeah, speaking of, I think barbecue would be great with this. I would not go super heavy because like this is a light tannin wine, like the mouthfeel, everything is like quick and easy. Um, but you could do pork, you could do, oh, you know what this would be good with like, like the potatoes basically. <laughs> I don't know, potatoes would be great with this, really any style. Um, but potatoes would be great. Like uh, I was picturing double stuffed, I guess, cause I had some the other day, but really any of it. Um, like marinated chicken with like nice charring would be great. Um, it's honestly also good by itself. Charcuterie board could work. It's a little light for it, but you could make that work, especially if you're just like chilling outside, not having like some contemplative fireside charcuterie board, but just like your fun outdoor <laughs> lunchable style, more charcuterie board. Um, and that same vein, like sandwiches, picnic food, all that would be great too. So it's going to play nicely with a lot. Um, it's going to play nicely with your friends that are a little bit skeptical of natural wine. So just think about that and use it to your advantage. And again, like chill it. And then if you want to, you know, leave it open for a bit and see how you, how you feel uh, when you've had it cold and when you've had it warm. I think it's delicious both ways, but for me, especially it being for the June club, 
highly recommend chilling it. So enjoy.